But yeah. I know you've seen Red Dead because you've been around here for a while, mine. But Red Dead went off and got married and owns a house. He's he's big time now. All right, we got some more rooms. Tips for new house layout. Oh, I'm not good at laying out houses. Are you building a new house or are you buying a new house? Armor Gimp, it's Japanese. I'm sorry, I didn't catch what you were asking them. I've got that clip somewhere. I'll have to find it. But yeah, that was one of my better moments too. My most proud. Because I had so many eyes so early and people were excited for me and, and it was exciting. Are you buying a new house that is being constructed? Yeah, I, I don't have any details on that, dude. If I was designing a house, I would I would have some I would have some words about designing things. Um, we need we need food. What time is it? 22 hours? Are these guys dead? No. Come here. Come right here and shoot these deer. They are asleep. All right, you shoot. Uh, yep, you grab that, you grab that. Sweet! There's some more bucks. Alright, we're in the 13th day of spring, and it hasn't gotten warm yet. Which is kind of disturbing, but we're growing crops. We're going to have rice here soon, which I'm excited about. <clears throat> The builder only run Ethernet cable uh, to an outside point. Yeah, they're going to do that. You know why? Because they were the lowest bidder. <laughs> That's the lowest bidder, mine. Congratulations. Internet. The house has internet. The cable guy is going to do the same thing. They're going to run a cable right to the one room, and that's it. Welcome. You get what you pay for. So we need pigskin. I, I thought we had pigskin. Heavy fur, camel hide, guinea pig fur. We're down to 132 pigskin? We must have used it for construction. Do you give pigskin? Plain leather. Crap! We can't make it! Heavy fur, dog leather, light leather, plain leather. I can do a plain leather one. Uh, plain leather. Build copy right there. Gonna get experience working with contractors? Oh, you get to get experience? Um, what sucks about experience working with contractors, mine, I'll tell you now, you're a homeowner. They don't like homeowners. That's first. Second is, if they contract a job, let's say you want me to put cabling in your house and I price you $2,500, that's like... To me to get in and get out and, and move on. If you want to add an extra room, I'm ripping you a new butthole. So here, here is a tactic for you to know for future. Quote higher than what you really want and then take away. So be like, hey, can you put cable in three rooms? But yeah, it costs this much. How much to do just two rooms? He'll actually be happier and give you a better price. If you say how much to do two, then you add a third, they're gonna be mad at you. Does that make sense? Okay, we got some people that are sick. Uh, colonists have gotten sick. Sir Tom Warscar. But don't do like extravagant. Don't say cable the whole house and then take away four rooms. Instead of, if you want two rooms done, like your master bedroom and the living room, do master bedroom, and master bedroom, living room, kitchen get a price and then say, you know what? Let's drop the kitchen. How much is it now? That'd be better. And if shop around, do that tactic with different contractors. Do A and B, do two rooms and add a third, do three rooms and, and take away one with different people and see what price you get at the end. I bet you're gonna get a better number with the people that you say take away one from. If you have that many people to choose from. All right, so Sir Tom has to be in bed. Uh, Warscar 
has to be in bed. You're the doctor. God bless it. Carlo Berg in bed. Orange. Orange? That's the patient. Okay. And then oh my am. <laughs> I was like, who? Okay. Some good options. So so odds are you probably already have in mind kind of who you want. Give them the, the nicer of your of your scenarios and see if they treat you better. Because they should be able to give you don't don't give them both scenarios at one time. Give them one then change it when they give you the first price. And and use their prices to see which one works for you. What's up, Othin? How are you, buddy? It's good to see you. Happy day. I hope you're doing well and that your bike is is, is rip worn and ready to go. Thanks for being here. Okay, so War Scar is in bed with the flu. Three versus three point two. They all got they all got tended to very well. We have medicine here, so that's good. Uh, in fact, what I want War Scar to do in the future is carry three medicine with him. That way, they have medicine on them. <clears throat> No pen for the boar. Yeah, there's a point for that. Uh, wild boar, doe, alpacas. And I guess we can do the, do the same thing with the deer. Uh, let's see, deer. We do have that with deer. Okay, so that's good. Uh, animals, wildlife. Here. And what this does is it ups our animal handling skill and allows us to get meat all at the same time because we're slaughtering the deer. Who's a slave driver? I'm not a slave driver. I have no slaves here. They're all being treated with the best medicine. How is that being a slave driver? Anywho. I had to adult and clean the house while joining the club. <laughs> I had to do that the other day. Did Warner get anything healed? No, he still has dementia. Okay. The Luciferium should start helping out with his dementia and hearing loss and stuff here soon. <clears throat> and his and his scars and stuff. He should be like a brand new person before too long. Once we get these guys, help me remind me that when these guys are done with having the flu to give Warner a new lung. If you guys can help me out with that, because I'm going to forget. Just be like, hey, give Warner a lung after the after these guys are out of here with the flu. We got rooms being put in. We got 1,900 steel. I'm going to go ahead and put some more lights in here. That way these rooms have lights. And then we're going to deconstruct. After we deconstruct, that'll be my cue to know that we can continue building up the rest of the stuff. Because we got to get the floors flat and smoothed out, too. Once it's just the smoothing, I'm going to turn some other people on to, to construction to get some more people to level up. Like mine and, and Warner and things like that. Once Warner is up and able to move around, he's going to be one of our better constructors. So I'm excited for that. Well, tribute collector, I don't care. And then once we get this cleared, we can probably turn this into an animal shelter or something for like the dogs to sleep in. That way they're not in the house. That way they can sleep outside. Cause I, I love the dogs. We really don't need them in, indoors. They can sleep outside. And since this has a roof that I can't remove, might as well just treat it as such. Why didn't we remove that? Ah, now we can. And we'll put we'll put tile flooring down through here. We just haven't done it yet. I am in no rush. Cause these guys seem to be content sleeping in these rooms here. Yeah, they're they're excellently excellently happy. Spacious interior. Extremely impressive rec room, beautiful environment, recreation fulfilled, luxuriantly comfortable, blah 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 blah. Cool. Um we need to see who else is a is a uh, body modder. We need to give them a. Did we give them the the denture? We did. 
So Das Hibbit was a body modder satisfying? What's he got? Oh, he's got Venom Fangs. So these are melee, right? The user can bite an enemy, extend the injectors, and pump venom into the target. That's so wild. That's so wild. Is Das Hibbit good at melee? No. Why does he have Venom Fangs? Yeah, whatever. Whatever. That's the world trader. I really don't care about them. Any tips for setting up slave prisoner area, such as using them for the dirty jobs? Are you are you playing ideology? Or are you just playing regular rim world? Hi, Kyle, welcome in. Yeah, I'm... We only needed three extra rooms, but I'm building out around this hallway. So I went on ahead and built some extra rooms just in case. Um, I'm just getting everything set up for eventualities. How are you, buddy? Welcome back in. I'm gonna hybrid the idea into Space Haven. Well, that's just it though. Are you allowed to do that in Space Haven? Because if you're allowed to have slaves and stuff, what I would do is, so like use use this for an example, Warscar. And what I would do is I would make like this area back here where your slaves stay. Cut the rooms in half, obviously. Make these the slave rooms and put the dirty work stuff down here and have them only coexist and work back here, but they're still allowed to eat and stuff. How's Randy treating me? Randy gave me a trader earlier that gave me two epic guns. I had a charge rifle and an EMP launcher, and then my power went out. And now I don't have those anymore. But we lost power for about half of an hour. And my stream was down. But we, we lost that. And I really, really want it back, but I, I have to deal with what I have here. Uh, we don't have any food. We have, like, no food. We need, we need hunters. Pruffles is hunting? I really don't want Pruffles to hunt. I'd rather have Warscar hunt. Let's go kill some animals. We need animals dead. We have hunt- no, we have taming. Oh. Let's go hunting. Go hunting. Is there a reason to set up your base in one corner as opposed to the middle of the map? I did it over here. So the reason we did it here originally... Uh, one second. If I go to my channel and I go to my playlists... One second. Ramworld Ideology Randy playthrough. Uh, Arcus. So see right here where we started. This was this was an ancient ruin right next to fertile soil. Wait. Oh, that's ideology. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. It's ideology. Wrong playlist. Wrong playlist. Hey. Hey. Hold on. Rim world, one second. Where's Brandy Royalty at? Randy Royalty. Did he not put it up there yet? Let me look in here. Thank you, color. Um What am I looking for? Randy Royalty. It's not up. Okay. Either way, this was a this was an ancient ruin next to fertile soil, so it was a perfect place to set up. <clears throat> well, I mean, you'd rather be in the center. The the rule of thumb, so like Kyle, to be honest with you, right here'd be a perfect place to build because you want to have protection on either side. If you have natural protection, you're not you're less likely to get raids uh, from those sides. But, um, there really isn't, like, a rhyme or reason, per se. Having, building a base on a corner like this is dangerous, because if we got a raid right here, we have no time to prepare. We're going to shoot this bear, though. 
Only had a little bit and went to ideology. Gotcha. <clears throat> Sweet. Uh, attack. Kill the bear! Thanks. Uh, oh, EJ's hauling. Hell yeah, EJ. Do it. Should be plenty until next weekend. I have more. Get me the stuff I need. I thought I did give you the stuff. Yeah, <laughs> you have the stuff. <laughs> get it. Get it to go live on Monday. I guess right. You guys. You guys want to see the thumbnail I made for uh, Randy? Well, I don't have it saved as an image. Damn, I don't have it saved as an image. Never mind. I can pull up the, the Photoshop. One second. I'll pull up the Photoshop. So what I do is I make thumbnail. Oh, oh my M puts up our VODs for us on YouTube. And what I do is I make him a thumbnail that's a PSD. That way he can edit it with all the numbers and stuff. Check this out. This is my this is my Randy royalty. Wait for it to load up. The 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 grid lines aren't there by default. But here, check it out. There's my, there's my Randy royalty thumbnail right there. It's Randy wearing a hat. Now, the cool thing is this hat doesn't belong on his head. And then for ideology, I did this. I actually made a blind, bald, bearded Randy. That was difficult to do. But this was the, this is the ideology run here. That's the thumbnail. And then there's the numbers there. So that's that's me doing doing things for for YouTube. Those are my thumbnails. But yeah, that's what I have coming up. That's pretty sweet. It took me like 25 minutes to make that Randy. I had to go find so the bald head came from Lex Luthor from the old Superman cartoons. And then um I um I found the beard. I, I looked up I looked up big beards on Google and some guy had a big beard, so I just cut that off of him and put it on Randy. And then um I looked up band-aids and shut the band-aids down. I looked up gouged eyes and I found a comic. I, don't Google gouged eyes, by the way. My Google search history is forever tainted. But there was a comic of a kid, or not a kid, but a person with eyes gouged out and I used those and put them on. Yeah, Entropy, my Google search is so horrible from making thumbnails. <laughs> gouged eyeballs, ah, perfect, I'll use this. Thank you, oh my am. So yeah, we got doors to get out of certain people's rooms. That door's in the wrong place. Oh man. Ah, mustard. Don't want to mess with weird search terms at this time. Well, I did. I did the hard work so that you don't have to. Incognito it still doesn't work, dude. Go to incognito mode and start typing a website name. It'll autofill something you did on the other internet. That's that's messed up. Incognito is is a, is a lie. How are you being fed? You're eating grass. Oh man, we got to move their area. They got to go in there and die. <laughs> they're, they're getting grass grown here by some luck. That trader having that charge rifle though, that was so lucky. Okay. Uh, substantial edifice. Yes. Yes. 11 by six. And we have to protect it for 33 days. Oh uh, yes, please give me. So royalty gives you these things that you have to build. I'll just put it indoors. I'll put it right here. Yeah. Um. Uh-oh. The damn dog hauled it. Where'd you haul it to? Put it back. <laughs> don't, don't do that. It disappeared without a trace. Um. I want it close so I can protect it. Uh, it has to be in here, though. So let's do that. 
and we're gonna reinstall this out here. We got this built. We got some of it deconstructed. That's cool. <clears throat> Boom rats fully healed. Confound it! Uh-oh, we have no food. You're taking bear meat to inventory. Wait, 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 wait. We gotta make meals. We need meals. Oh shit. Um. Come down here. We gotta shoot these animals. We're gonna shoot every one of these deer and kill them. Or at least try to. Come on, everybody. Let's go shoot some deer. We'll shoot these boomalubs too while we're at it. I don't care. Sure. gonna do uh you you can't because it's burning oh my god hold on get the damn fire out all right das hibbit i need you to haul All right, cool. It's raining. Haul that. Uh, Camaro shell. Haul that. Looper. Not yet. Haul Boomaloop. All right, let's get rid of the home area. Striker. I want you to haul the buck. EJ. You're not assigned to hauling? What? Haul the dough. Carlo Berg, beating fire out. Nope. <clears throat> I need you to haul that buck, though, while you're here. That thing will die soon and blow up. That thing will die soon. Major breakthroughs, Carlo Bird. He's fine. Everything is fine. Camaro shell. Uh, I need you to grab that and haul it, please. And then this one needs to be hauled. Consuming bear meat. Please don't do that. Carlo Berg's in a daze. All right, and then one more body here. Das Hibbit. Oh, wait. Can we have a shelf grab in that one? Okay, good. That should give us plenty of meat for meals. <clears throat> so eat an actual meal, Warner. Where the hell are you? You're going to haul a deer. You're hungry. Okay, you're going to break here in a second. He's going to break. It's okay. All right, rooms. Rooms look good. Lights are installed, but they don't have power. Power conduit all the way across here. Not all the way across here because these walls need to be smoothed out. Mad Muffalo. Oh God, we've got Muffalo here. Um, <clears throat> I need some of you guys. I'm gonna need... Oh God. Is it just the one? So 
So yeah, these buffalo here, we can actually uh, tr train them. All right, come over here. Let me set a male and a two females to tame. And then you guys can come over here. Oh, this is bad. This is a bad idea. This is a bad idea. Because they're going to get Manhunter. Yep, every single one of them got Manhunter. Crap. Crap. All right, I shouldn't have done that. It's fine, though. It's why we safe scummed. We'll, we'll tame them. <laughs> we'll do it the easy way. All right, you go away. <clears throat> we'll just set them all to tame and we'll kill them as we get them. There shouldn't be any other animals to tame at the current moment. Let's worry about those muffalo there. Uh, we'll get those deer too, I guess. Yeah, let's get the deer. Whatever. Set them all to, to train. There's rice. That'll give us more food. And then we need to turn some people on to cooking who aren't cooking. More Scar and Carlo Bird. Get your asses in gear and cook. Major break wrist striker. Why? Did your wife die, my brother? Brother! Brother's dead! Brother's gone! We can't take it anymore! You got nine days left? Holy cow! Alright, we'll figure it out. Go. We got rice, so that's cool. We got a turkey. Okay, so it's getting warm now. So maybe we should turn all the heaters off. And then we'll turn all the ACs on. <clears throat> maybe. We'll find out. Maybe we'll sleep in the cold tonight. Who knows? Oh no, we don't have plants. Summer has begun. Yep, we need components bad. We have three whole components. Yuck. What's Looper's mining up to? Five. Almost six. All right, sweet. Significant familiarity. We have 135 marble. We can start putting some in the rooms here. Because I think we got all that we can get currently as far as like built so we need to get a couple more rooms for, for folks that way they have somewhere to sleep so we'll do marble tile 104 